So I'll get I'll go to a nail salon and get a they'll paint like a top acrylic on top of it. I got a really jacked up nail. <laughs> High school football injury. I could have went to the league. <laughs> Dude, it looks really it looks really bad right now. <laughs> This is not good. I could have been a slot receiver, <laughs> but finger this way. finger just kept getting in the way, you know? So I had to fight. Can I bother you? I would love for you to bother me, dude. Yeah. Who wants a burrito? Wrong city. Oh. <laughs> This is our tour guide, Jason. He lived here for many years. He actually knows the direction. He's like, oh, it's over on the east side or over on the west side. I'm like, I don't know where the freak I am. I'm just surrounded by buildings. Who wants a hot dog? You want a hot dog? Let's get my dog. He's doing a hot dog over. Hey, let's get a hot dog. Just showed up to the airport. The waiting game is getting less and less. So, head to New York right now. Ready to jump in my first class seat. Let's go. Okay, welcome aboard. Right, see you Once I touch down in the city where I'm fighting, yeah, things start to change. You know, mentally, yeah, just gotta start preparing the mind. Got a nice seat, hopefully they give us some good breakfast. Ready to see Michael's face. Want to punch it a little more? It's gonna be fun. It is a pleasure to welcome welterweight champion Kamaru Usman. Champ, thank you very much for joining the show today. Yeah. Great to see you. Morning, Great to see you. Um, all right, so you got a rematch with Colby Covington. You stopped him. 50 seconds left to go in the fight, UFC 245. But he has been saying that you've been avoiding the rematch. What's your response to that? I've gone through everyone once, and now at this point, it's time for me to set myself and my family up for what, what's going to make sense for us future down the line. And of course, I want the biggest and baddest and scariest dude there, but also what's going to pay off financially. I mean, this guy wasn't doing anything. While he was sitting at home waiting for me to call his number, I was out there doing work. I was out there running through guys and putting them to sleep. And this Saturday night, he will be no different. Kamaro Usman, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen him fight this Saturday, don't miss it. It's the best pound for pound mixed martial artist in the world. Clear. Hey Siri, will you play the playlist Hype NF? Hype NF now playing. Nice little workout in here in my little makeshift gym hotel room. A little bit of striking, a little bit of sweat, a little bit of listening to music, keeping it light. A lot of people in this city um, are excited about us coming here on Saturday night. You know what? I ain't scared. And as the week progresses, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. So I'm excited about it. So let's go. Fight! Fight! Oh. Huh? Huh? That's Mr. K, baby. The vibe is fucking awesome. I mean, first off, we're in Hensel Gracie's gym. You know, I haven't been here in like seven years, but I've never got to experience the basement. The basement's the shit, right? You come down here, it's so hot, you know, and, and man, props to you, Hensel. Bro, I love you for letting us come in here late at night. It's really nice. I walked in here, saw Frankie. It was 2010, Frankie brought me out to help him train for one of his camps before I ever thought about you know, fighting or new out fighting the UFC or anything at this level. So, uh, cool to be on this card with him. Just want to come in, get the, get the engine turned on, turned off. You know, nothing too crazy. Get the juices flowing. You. We're starting the weight cut a little bit, so when you can have that high active energy, it makes sweating fun. Very relax. Yeah, me, Kamaru in here, you know, just fucking with each other, and uh, we get around each other, we try to keep the mood as light as possible. Can't make it too serious right now and, and lose sleep. See what I have when I leave? Their energies work off each other, and, and just seeing them have fun, like brothers, like that's, to me, cool. 
sometimes I gotta be like the, you know, the teacher, come over and discipline them and say, hey man, stay away from each other, but they're having fun. I feel cool. Yeah, I love where their head is at right now, right where we need to be. Every night we'll come in around fight time, uh, do some type of workout just to get accustomed to being awake at 11 midnight. Then we'll go inside, throw some punches, some kicks, just keep the flow going. This is her thing, man. That girl can run for days. So we started off with some sprints in the hallway, did a little bit of the um, Chinese uh, hacky sack, just to warm up our feet a little bit. From there, we just hit little pads. It feels good, you know, it feels really good when when you know you're prepared. You know, you have moments and things that creep in every once in a while. But what my coach Greg Nelson always says, they're like ants or always negative thoughts. You always just gotta stomp those out and just keep reminding yourself that you're the best. Chin up and eyes up and slow it. There you go. Yep, right there. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. 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 She's been happy. She's been doing everything the right way. We're cutting the weight the right way. Her legs are fresh. She's going to be good to go. Bailey, you feel good? Yes, I feel good. All right. I'm uh, so happy. Like uh, Chinese New Year. Hi. How you doing? Very good. Good to see you. Great to see you. 我觉得最最大的是我心态上的变化，变得比以前更强大了，还有我的技术更全面了。Yes. Good. Nice. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Now, when you talk about Usman, because I know he respects you, and he said he feels like there's a part of you that respects him. Is there respect for Kamara Usman from you, Kobe? All right, Jeff. All right, come on over. 30 seconds right there, just like that. I can't say there's respect for the DC as, as much as I want to, you know. There was a lot of lot of cheating and fouls in, in the first fight, and I, I just feel like, you know, if he was a clean fighter and he didn't cheat and fake fouls in the first fight, yeah, I'd respect him, but I can't respect that cheating coward. I'm ready to go, man. When they put these on, man, it's, they lock you in, man. I'm dialed in. I'm ready to go. You can rotate towards me just a little bit. There you go. You've changed camps, but Kamaru's also changed camps. In his last two fights, he's actually put his opponents away after you've called him Marty Snoozman for so long. So have you seen any changes in his game at all, or and are you expecting a completely different fight from him as well? Okay. And you know, Marty Fake Newsman, he's been fighting lightweights. You know, he hasn't fought a welterweight like me. He's been fighting a guy that was a journeyman that had all the hype that the media put lightning on a bottle on this guy. Morning, morning, what's up? How are you? You good? What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> Talking about Street Juice Masvidal. The guy's got double digit losses, almost 20 losses on his record. You, you talk about hype, you, that makes you the best pound for pound fighter by knocking on a guy like that. There's no precip or honor in doing that. And the other guy be Dilbert? That guy is a lightweight. Like the guy was getting knocked out by a hooker. Like what's 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 so honorable about that? What makes him pound for pound? I'm gonna expose him Saturday night and you know Marty Juiceman's not gonna have nowhere to run or hide. See it's more of a